Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this I Bloom Shortcake Squishy. It's like this, and I'm going to be doing this design as well. So now for the materials you'll be needing, you'll be needing some foam. I'm going to be using this Crush Ball Squishy. It's really squishy. You can also use like density foam or different like you know types of squishy buns. So you'll be needing some uh, foam, paint, yellow paint. This is optional. I'm using this shoe pink, like a light pink, red paint, and um, this tan paint. Oh, and also for the utensils, you'll be needing some scissors. I'm going to be using these two pairs of scissors. And paint brushes are optional. So now let's start making First this. You want to take your squishy and cut it into a triangular shape. So now, once you have cut your squishy into like a pizza form, white. And my foam is already white, so I don't need to do that. But if your foam isn't white, like it's kind of like the color of density foam, then I suggest you to paint your squishy white. So once you have done that, now we need to make these, um, like the cake part in the squishy. So now we are going to be mixing paint. So like yellow, a little bit of brown or tan and some white so I'm just going to mix these three. So I just have this sticky note piece of paper thing and I'm just going to mix my colors for this that was a lot of paint of brown to it now you just want to mix it and so now my color looks like this. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now I am just going to apply it on to my squishy. and make sure you do a second layer. So now once you are done with doing the layers of the cake part, now we are going to be making the strawberries. For that, you will be needing red paint, light paint. Light paint is optional, or you could use white. And also, you will be needing some toothpicks. We'll just be needing one. So now we're just going to make this So now your squishy should look something like this. Now we have to make these little cream dollops on the top. So we will be needing some sponge. And this is just some leftover sponge. I'm sorry for like the paint on my hands since you know, I just painted that squishy. <laughs> so there is only three dollops. So what we are going to do is just, it's not focusing, okay. I just cut the shortcake is all the way over there. Um, just cut a piece of your foam like this. And mine's in the shape of a triangle. So I'm just going to, Cut it again, and now I'm going to take my little piece of foam, and now I'm going to, it's so hard, so tiny, I'm just going to trim. Now once you are done putting your little dollops on top of your squishy, now it's time to make the strawberry. Make the strawberry, I'm going to be needing some foam, I'm going to be using some leftover foam. A toothpick, red paint, 
and yeah, that's basically all. <laughs> so, oh, and scissors. So now we are just going to shape our squishy. Shaping and cutting. So now once you have made your strawberry, take some red paint, which I got on this piece of paper. And then you're going to take your toothpick, put some red paint on it, and then paint the squishy. Now once you are done painting your strawberry, the bottom in white paint, and then we're going to stick it in the middle of the dollops. So now it looks like this. And you can add more white paint around it to make sure that it will stay. Once you have done that, now I will show you how to make the packaging. We're going to be making the packaging. <coughs> Excuse me. And so you're going to be needing packaging. You can some cardstock, a pen, colors, but we are just going to be using pink. You will also be needing a twisty tie. So let's get on with the packaging. So first you're going to take your squishy, put it on your cardstock, take a pen or a pencil, and we have to make like this little card. So just imagine it if we like folded it. Once you have done that, now we are just going to make a half circle. On both sides. So it looks like this. Now we're going to cut it out. I'm take some tape. And you want to tape this up like this. Now it should look something like this. Now what we are going to do, now we are just going to color this part pink. So I'm going to take my pink and I'm going to start coloring. Once you have colored your little plate thing pink, now we are going to write eye blue on it. So take your pen, figure out what side you want for it to go on. So my cake's going to be like this. So I'm just gonna write eye blue. Now once your now once you have put eye bloom on it, now you can start to package it. But first we are going to make the packaging. You are going to take your squishy. You're going to put it all the way down at the corner since it has a pointy end. So now it looks something like this. It should look something like this. Now we are just going to take our cardstock. We still have to make the little tag. So take your cardstock and put your squishy right there so you know how done. Make a circle. Look at it and see if it is good for the squishy. And then color it. and cut it So out. now your squishy ugh, looks like this and it's in the packaging. And then you have put 
area. I've cut out the little pink dot thing. Now what we are going to do is take a marker or a pen. I'm going to be using a pen and you're just going to write. So we're just going to write eye blue. So now once you have put it on, mine just says eye bloom, I am a Tokyo. So when it is like that and we will be needing a twisty tie and now we are just going to twist it all together. And then I, all that I did was I just punctured a little hole through it with my X-Acto knife. And then just take it and secure it. So once you have attached it, it looks something like this. And since mine fell off of my twisty tie, I just taped it on there. And what I got for this red ribbon type thing, I colored a piece of paper red, and then I just tied it. And then I just stuck my little ribbon thingy, or my little tag onto it. And it says eye bloom. So if you make this squishy, please give me credit. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye everyone!